The problem is you're out driving your M2, M3 or M4 in the F80, 82 or 87 chassis and all of a sudden you turn a little bit and you have this horrendous noise coming from the rear of the car that sounds just like this. So this is what's happening. As you're driving along and the front tires are turning from side to side, debris off the road surface, little rocks, etc., are getting picked up by the front tires. They're slung underneath the vehicle, and as you turn, the debris goes everywhere. Sometimes a little rock will enter into the hole in the backing plate and get stuck between the brake rotor and the backing plate. That's what's making this horrendous noise. So to get rid of this annoying noise and get the rocks out of there, you have to first remove the wheel. And brake caliber. Here we're using the ATA tether to support the brake caliber so we avoid strain on the sensor lead and the brake hose. After removing the, the brake rotor screws, a lot of times the rotor is really stuck on the hub and you can't pull it off by hand. Uh, here you can see some rust in the center. For this, we highly recommend that you use the ATA brake rotor removal tool. Obviously do not hammer on the rotor or anything like that because we're going to reuse the rotor after we get the rocks out. First, select the correct thread pitch standoffs. Insert the standoffs through the rotor into the hub in two holes that are across from each other. Insert the brake disc remover into the slots on the standoffs. Slide the hook over the brake rotor and tighten the 22 millimeter nut by hand like that. Support the hood handle on the outside with one hand and tighten the 22 millimeter until the brake rotor pops off the hub. Now that the brake rotor popped loose from the hub, remove the tool and put it aside. The brake rotor is now captured by the studs and it cannot fall to the ground and end on top of somebody's toes. Now with one hand support the rotor and remove the screws until the brake rotor is free and take it off by hand. So now that the rotor is off, you can see the hole where the little rock entered in through the backing plate and got caught in this area right here between the backing plate and the edge on the brake rotor. So to avoid all this nonsense with little rocks coming in here and creating all this noise and all these problems, here is the solution. The solution is the ATA backing plate screen. This backing plate screen is designed to click right into place in your existing backing plate and can be installed in just minutes with this simple tool. Let me show you how it works. You take the backing plate screen and snap it on to the install tool. Once it's on the tool, you reach up into the backing plate area like this. Keep in mind that in the car, the suspension is right here and very tight, so very limited space. But this is very skinny and could go right in between the suspension and the backing plate. Once you're in front of the hole, which is going to receive the screen, Place the screen on top of the hole and firmly push in and the screen snaps into place. Now the screen stays in the backing plate and comes off the tool. Let me show you in the car. Installing the screen onto the tool, inserting the tool over the hole, line up the tabs and push it into the wheel, remove the tool. The car is affected by this is the M3 M4 and M2 in the F80, 82 and 87 chassis. This very simple but yet very effective backing plate screen saves a lot of time and a lot of money. If you are a do-it-yourself guy, you can just purchase the tool and the screens and install them. All you need to do is remove the wheel and pop them in. If you're a shop, this is a great service provided to your customer. If you make them aware of this problem and that there is a simple solution that does not require removing 
and replacing the backing plate. And in the process, having to remove the wheel bearing and replace it before it can be reinstalled. This goes from a very expensive, time-consuming repair to a very simple, quick job. To get your backing screen set and tool, go to ATATools.com. As always, thank you very much for watching, and remember to subscribe. Holy that's loud.